Okay, so I've had quite a few different computers from Ecotronics in the past, but this is one of the strangest ones. Uh, so it looks pretty normal from the front, a couple of USBs and an industrial port. If we have a look around the back, nothing too unusual here. So we've got the barrel jack connection for the power supply. We've got the Ethernet connection, USB-C, a couple more USB-2 and a couple USB-3s and an HDMI out. We also have a SIM slot and an SD card slot. And these two connections are for the antennas. So this has some big Wi-Fi antennas with it. And it also comes with a normal HDMI cable. Where this gets a bit different is that we've got a couple of HDMIs on this side and another couple of HDMIs on this side. And they're actually inputs. So this can record four HDMI inputs all at once. Before we do that, let's just have a quick look inside. Mechatronics are always really nicely made. So hopefully this will slot forward and then I can just slide this out, yeah. Pretty much the same as they always are. So when we look inside, we can see that there's no active cooling in here at all. There is just one heatsink on top of that RK3588 processor. We've got a couple of cables here going out from the HDMIs and the other HDMI ins are actually connected and these are just the Wi-Fi antennas. We also have the NVMe M.2 slot here, and also one which I'll reveal in a minute what that does. So before we plug a load of things in, let's have a look at the Mechatronics website. So they talk about the max output resolution of up to 8K60, and I've tested that in other videos on other Mechatronics with the same processor, so I know that definitely works. So six tops NPU, which is the AI side of things and the storage is EMMC, and the inputs, they talk about a maximum input of 4K 60 Hertz, so six USB-A and one Type-C. Also supports PCIe 3.0 up to 2280 size, mini PCIe so you can add 4G, so mobile data, and a nano SIM card for 4G, and the operating systems it supports, Android, Debian, which obviously I've got here, and Armbian as well. And I've got other videos on the other Mechatronics board showing how to install the other operating systems. Uh, but they're generally under support. And you just need to locate your device. And you can see the 4x4 is already here. And downloads are here for all the different software. And I've tested quite a few Mechatronics boards in the past. So you can see various different videos here. I put Reborn OS on this one. Uh, we had the small one with the 2.5 inch slot. And then we had the 3576, the slightly lower spec processor. And then we had the Pro, which was just amazing for connectivity. And then probably one of my favorites was this one, which had outputs for six displays. Just amazing. But this one goes the other way around, and it's got the inputs rather than the outputs. Now let's get connecting. Okay, so let's try and explain this. So... Input 22, I've got this red cable which goes around here and around the back of my Mac and is plugged into this USB HDMI adapter and you can see that's playing a video. My Raspberry Pi is plugged into input 11 uh, and it's also going out into this monitor as well. I've also got this Honor View 20 phone which has got like a deck style mode so this is going through this Ugreen adapter uh, and then into input zero and then into input 60 I've got this Samsung DeX phone uh, which is running as well so all of that is going out through the HDMI into my capture device so I can capture it and then into this monitor running Debian so if I press the Windows key and open a terminal I can press up on here and I can go CD play record so this is the folder that I'm working with and then if I run the Python script it launches this now I found it's good to minimize this, uh, not like that, if I right click on here and minimize because I was ending up closing it down. But basically HDMI zero, which should be the Samsung phone. Yeah, that's Samsung DeX running, playing one of my videos. And if I then try HDMI 60, that should be the Honor View 20 phone appears to have stopped playing the video, I don't know why. Let's see if we can get it to play a different video, another Mechatronics one there. So you can see that's coming through. And then if we go to the other sources, so 
HDMI 11, which is my Raspberry Pi. Cruises up. You can see that's playing one of my so bike videos on there. Around, see, it's a bit jerky. The, the frame rate the for the preview isn't the super high, but it's nice to be able, able to see it. Around. And if it's a desktop environment, so then actually it's quite handy. I just try to close I that down. Uh, so let's so close that window. And the last one, which is my Mac, so that's into 22. And that's playing the FIFA video. It's, it's so cool. I mean, if I if I stop this now uh, and just go to my desktop, you can see that from a desktop point of view. Oh no, not that. Yeah. So if I just do a different web page, so if I do BBC Sport, uh, just so we've got a static image on there, it's actually all right. Uh, you know, if you're just monitoring something, but obviously you wouldn't want that frame rate on your main computer. But remember, we're actually opening up four different HDMI inputs by literally just clicking on the input and it shows it straight away. Again, that uh, Honor View 20 is struggling to uh, get a Wi-Fi connection in here, I guess. So if we go to zero, that'll be the Samsung phone and that's still playing one of my videos. Now, if we look at the interface and the reason before I said about uh, hiding that window is because after you've opened it, uh, a preview, you have to close these down. That might change in later software. Be nice if it auto closed. Uh, so you can see we can save the videos to internal storage. So the EMMC drive that's in there, an NVMe drive or a USB. You can choose between 4K and 1080 and we can also change the FPS as well. So let's try all record. I haven't tried this yet. In fact, I haven't got any storage plugged in. Let's plug some storage in. No, I'm not sure if it will recognize this drive, so if I press the Windows key. So, oh yeah, 512 drive. And I've been playing around with the older software on here, so I've got the new software on here, so let's get rid of all of that. And let's hit all record and see what happens. I'm not sure if I was supposed to have um, picked various different modes, but let's see what happens. Can't handle Caps Video X raw format. Okay, it looks like it's stopped. Let's see if there's anything in that folder. Yeah, nothing in there. So if I say, it is an NVMe drive, but it's connected by USB. So I think we're gonna go with that. Resolution 1080 and all record. Oh, it looks like it's doing something different. There is no stop mode in here at the moment. Again, this is a work in progress and uh, I've had various different updates to this. They keep sending me different Python files and it keeps getting better. Uh, and it is it's just really impressive that you can have four HDMI ins in such a small computer with the ordinary Rockchip 3588 processor. Just super impressive. Right, is that... Not sure if that's finished. I'm going to do Control C, and that's Control C, Control C, and Control C, because I think that will close up the video files, so uh, it will save them. Ah, oh, here you go. So there are four video files on here. That's so cool. This one doesn't look like it's recorded. I wonder if that's my Mac. Okay, it's not like in any of the formats, but I wonder if I need to open it with something else. Open with videos, no. What else have I got? Got a VLC on here. Because it recognizes it as a video file. No. That's playing. Yeah, that's playing a video, look. <laughs> of course I've got, it, it would be a still web page that I've got on there. Uh, and that was my Mac. Open with other application, VLC. To say yes. Yeah, that's playing. If you want to so change that an old, value, uh, go up electric or down. bike video I made uh, a long time I ago. I want it to say yes, so I press it's and hold. It's just so cool. And then that's. As I say, it's a bit of a work in progress from the video recording point of view, but just I'm just amazed at what it can do. And if we go to a terminal. I'm not sure if I put NeoFetch on here. 
No, so sudo apt install neofetch. Okay, it looks like that's worked. So we know it's a 3588. I've had it running for 58 minutes while I've been playing around with this. And this is an 8 gig model. And let's just close that down. So if I go back to my Mac, which was uh, HDMI in 22, yeah, it's just super impressive. And if I move the, yeah, it'll work in still. So thanks very much to Mikatronics for sending me this to test. The RK3588 has always been very good at video, but to record four video streams at once is really impressive. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.